welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Emily I am 22 years old and I do lots of videos about lifestyle um, college tips fitness health fashion all sorts of stuff so before we start this video please subscribe if you'd like to see that stuff and give this video a thumbs up if you love Taylor Swift so today's video as you can tell by the title is me ranking every Taylor Swift song into tiers. So obviously I didn't do them like one, two, three, four because that would take so long and I wouldn't be able to choose. So I just did them into tiers. So there's five tiers. So obviously tier one is the best and then it goes down. So a few things to note before I show you the tiers is that tier one, two, and three are all good like songs that I love. Like you could play any of those songs and even tier four actually not tier four, tier one, two, and three, somebody could play any of the songs on any of those tiers and I'd be like, oh my god, I love this song and I'd sing along. So they're all good, but like tier one is literally like all time faves. These are so good. This is like the epitome of like, this is Taylor Swift. Um, my personal faves, the ones that I connected with most. Two is just like a little bit below that. Like they're not my number one faves, but they're like still super, super good. Three is like, okay, these songs are like average. Like they're definitely good songs. A lot of people like them, but they're just like not as good or memorable. Four is I don't really like these songs as much or I just like don't really connect with them or have like a personal experience with them or I think that the vocals, the writing, whatever just isn't as strong. And five, there's only a few songs in tier five, but tier five is like songs that I actively don't like, which there's only a few. But these are the songs I just think are like not good. So I'm going to show you the tiers. I'm going to scoot all the way over and you're only going to see like the side of me because I'm going to put the tiers right here. I'm on my bed if you see all my pillows. So I'm going to put the tiers here and I'm going to try and keep them up like the whole time and I might like zoom in on one or the other whatever one I'm talking about. But here are the Taylor Swift songs ranked in tiers. So I'm like I said, I'm going to leave these up so that you can just like look at them but I'm gonna go through the tiers and kind of talk about some of the songs what I like what I don't like and um I obviously can't talk about every song so I'm just gonna kind of generalize about the tiers and why I chose certain things to go in these okay so a few things first to mention about the tiers like overall trends for each tier is that there is nothing from the first of Taylor Swift's first four albums that's below tier four so there's I guess that I guess there's only one tier below four, but I think there's mostly only stuff from the first four albums in tier one, two, and three. A couple things in tier four, and there's none in tier five. So not a single song off of her first four at four albums. So that would be Taylor Swift, Sparks Fly, Fearless, and Red. I might have switched the order of that, but those four albums, there's not a single song that's in the like I don't like this at all because like those four albums are so good and just classic Taylor Swift. So about her other newer albums, so 1989, Reputation, and Lover, those three albums, it's not that any of those albums as a whole are bad, but the reason that a lot of the songs off of those albums you'll see ranked lower and not as many in the top tier and second to top tier is because there's a few gems on those albums. Lover, the one that recently came out, I'll talk about since that came out um, today when I'm filming, so tomorrow. When I post this, it will have just been a day old that she came out with that album. Um, I'll talk about that later, but because that album's really good. But Reputation and 1989 are not bad albums. There's just like a lot more songs that I don't like or don't really connect with. And so there's just a few gems off of those albums that are in the higher tiers, whereas the other original albums have like every song in the higher tiers. So that's why you see so much of the first four albums in the higher tiers. And I know a lot of people have like mixed opinions about her new stuff. So I'll talk about that as well. Okay, so as far as other trends, um, Reputation, the album Reputation has the most low ranked songs. So the most songs in tier like four and five. And um, like I said, I'll talk about this in a little bit, but um, I do like some of the songs off that album. It's just the album as a whole didn't have as many songs that do it for me. So there are, Reputation has the most songs in the lowest tiers. And then 1989 has the second lowest tiers. So if you can see like that 1989 and Reputation are the two that I personally didn't like as much. And also this whole video, like I, for those of you who don't know, I do have some musical background. So a lot of the ranking is trying to base it off of like how I really think the music is unbiasedly but like with Taylor Swift if you're a fan it's impossible to rank it unbiased so a lot of this is just like my opinion 
Um, so 1989 and Reputation for me just didn't really do it with as many of the songs. Her first four and then her newest album had a lot better songs in my opinion for my taste. So um, Reputation and 1989 are ranked the lowest. All right, so starting with the list, the, um, and also these lists are not, like, e within each tier, there's no order. So it's not, like, within the tier, it's not ordered from best to worst. I was looking at her whole, like, list of every song she's ever done, and it was in order of album. So you'll see, like, in tier one, the songs at the top of tier one are just because they're in from her first album. So those don't have any meaning in the order within the tier. So tier one, of course, I have our song. I feel like... I mean, obviously, just because an artist, like, came out with something as their first song doesn't mean it's their best. A lot of artists, their first songs aren't their best. But I feel like our song is the epitome of Taylor Swift, and it can't not be on the top list. It's also, or the top tier, it's also just so catchy, so fun, and I just love our song. It's just a great song, and everybody knows it, and if you hear it, like, anybody would hear that song and be like, that's Taylor Swift. Place in this world, tied together with a smile, Mary's song, um, those are all also off of her first album and so you'll see most of her first album is between tier one and tier two, but those songs are the songs that just like really connected with me and that I just found really catchy and that I always listened to and sang the most, um, so those songs are also in tier one. So then 15, is just from her second album, I believe, is on uh, tier one for me and I just think 15 is like the ultimate song for a 15 year old girl and I luckily was like around 15 uh, when I listened to that song. I can't remember how old I was when that album came out but I mean I listened to that song when I was 15. I think it came out around when I was 15 and it's just like it just hits you in the feels. I love the melody. I love her voice on it. The lyrics are gold and something that Taylor Swift has always been known for especially in her older music is just how she writes like out of uh, her song lyrics are like they were just literally written in her diary like sometimes they don't even perfectly rhyme sometimes they do but it's less about like her old music at least it was less about all these like catchy like twists and turns of like trying to make some like sentence into something poetic and it was just literally like what it was so she would just sing exactly what you would have written in a diary at age 15 so that song is just gold and i love that song and it has a very special place in my heart Along with that, The Best Day, which I believe is on the same album as 15, that's also kind of the same, like that just has such a special special place in my heart. I think a lot of young girls and guys really liked that song, um, just because it's kind of like talking about your parents and when you're young and you're, you know, you're not having a good day at school or whatever and you just come home and your parents cheer you up and I mean, I didn't get along super well with my parents when I was younger, but they definitely did their fair share of making me feel better. Um, when things weren't going well at school or whatever. And I just feel like that song is just, it like makes me tear up because it's just so sweet and very relatable. So Hey Steven, Forever and Always, Back to December, Speak Now, Story of Us Enchanted, those are all also just great songs on tier one. Um, so Red. So Red is obviously the name of one of her albums and then it's the song on her album Red. Is it in my top tier and this might be more of a personal reason I mean I think it's a great song but this song like I just listened to on an absolute repeat when I was like 15 or 16 years old after I went through a breakup with like my first ever boyfriend so I feel like that's the magic of Taylor Swift like that is literally what Taylor Swift is all about is I feel like people have a very personal connection to her like lots of people love different artists and lots of people have a song that you know brings them back to a memory but I feel like almost anybody whether or not you're a Taylor Swift fan you have a song by Taylor Swift where you're like that song got me through this or this or that song I listened to this year of my life or you know that song was my you know my favorite song at this time like I feel like everybody has that and so um red was that for me next I have 22 which is just a great song um I know a lot of people like play it on their 22nd birthday I know I did and so it's kind of become this like annoying song like this thing that's annoying to people but if you just let that go out the window it's so good it's so fun it just like makes you want to dance and I love songs like that Okay, so Blank Space is also just a great song. Um, so I can't explain all of these songs, so sorry if I skip over some. Uh, New Year's Day, I Forgot That You Existed, Lover, You Need To Calm Down, and um, Crazier. So, so New Year's Day, I Forgot That You Existed, Lover, and You Need To Calm Down are off of Reputation and Lover. 
and so these are all newer songs so that is the only newer songs of hers that i would consider tier one out of her last two albums which is actually more than i expected but um those are the ones that i would say i just like i personally connect with and love you need to calm down like i know it's one of the songs of hers that's like on the radio and sometimes i actually struggle to connect with taylor swift songs that are on the radio because they get like overplayed and you just like i don't like them as much so a lot of the songs that you'll see lower on the list are songs that were like really big radio hits of hers and i know maybe that's like a little biased but it's just like really hard to rank them high because they're they're so annoying to me now but you need to calm down is so good because she has such good lyrics like it's so relevant and i feel like it's not forced relevance like maybe some people will disagree but with some of the stuff off of her off of her reputation album i felt like it was forced like she felt like she needed to respond to something or be something and she like i mean and obviously i'm probably wrong like it's her music music super intimate so i'm sure like that really is what she wanted to do and, and what she felt like but it just didn't really connect with me but you need to come down feels like i don't know it just feels genuine and it's just really funny and very like for all those twitter folks like people on twitter it's funny so i really like it crazier is at the bottom just because it was i had to go through and find songs that were like singles or songs that she sang on like movies and i didn't get all of those ones like i got every song off of her albums but there was a couple like deluxe version albums and i was having trouble tracking down like the songs that were like the bonus songs and then there's some songs she had for movies and stuff so there's like a couple songs missing but i got most of them but crazier from the hannah montana movie is just so good that's also a whole nother thing because i'm obsessed with hannah montana i still am even though i'm almost 23 years old so don't come for me honestly i should make a ranking at all hannah montana songs i would i would love that but um crazier is just a good song it's just I like it and it just reminds me of the Hannah Montana movie so I guess that's pretty personal but it's a great song. All right going on to tier two so Tim McGraw almost made it to tier one but I personally like just didn't used to listen to it as much but Tim McGraw kind of reminds me of our song at least for me it reminds me of our song in the sense that like it's like very much like you hear that song and you're just like this is Taylor Swift like just like the epitome of Taylor Swift original old Taylor Swift whatever and so but it got on tier two just because I don't like it quite as much. Picture to Burn, Should Have Said No, The Outside, Stay Beautiful. Those are all songs, I believe, off of her first album. And those are all tier two. Some of the songs are really close to tier one. It's just like I can't put every song on tier one. So I love all these songs. Every song on tier two I also like love, love, love. They're just like a little bit below my number one faves. Um, so those are all good. So Fearless, White Horse, really good. Mine, Dear John mean i love the song mean that was kind of one that was popular on the radio but i i love that song um never grow up is kind of reminds me of the best day it's just like really sweet it just like touches you in the feels and now that i'm getting older some of those songs kind of like get me because i you know you get older and you feel more like you relate to the parent and less to the kid and so i'm just thinking about like when i have kids and it's just like oh it's so cute um treacherous real in the feels all too well i almost do the last time all of these are like just really like in the feels songs and they're just classics to me like these are what i consider the classics which is why they're in tier two out of the woods wildest dreams welcome to new new york and i know places these are all off of 1989 and these are the only songs that i would say i really really like truly like off of 1989 some in tier three are like fine like i like them but these are the only ones that i actually like listened to on repeat they not even really on repeat i didn't listen to them that much because i didn't love that album but i do like those songs um welcome to new york is such a fun song i love that song okay and then i did so ready for it i did something bad delicate paper rings afterglow come back be here and if this was a movie okay so most of those come back be here is from the red deluxe album so it's like the bonus from red and then most of those other songs are from reputation and lover and so like i said tier two is just they're really good songs i love them they're not my favorites but those are all really good all right tier three so like i said these are songs like i still like all the songs in tier three they're all still good they're just not like my favorites and i don't like like you know i'm just it's just another tier below but they're still all great so teardrops on my guitar that's another one that people might say is like very like iconic taylor swift and i do like that song but I personally, maybe I'm just like tired of it. I don't really know. Um, Cold Is You, I put next to that potentially tier two because that's like a great song. I love that song. Love Story, I felt like deserved a spot on tier three because like I said, I tried to do some 
of this unbiasedly so like I don't like love song but that's because we sang it in my acapella group in high school and it was like really annoying like all none of us really liked singing the song I don't think and it never sounded quite right and it just like wasn't it and it just like was really frustrating so I'm like scarred from that song and it's just kind of overplayed but I felt like it definitely didn't deserve to be in tier four or five like it's definitely right in the middle um you belong with me kind of the same thing you're not sorry the way I loved you sparks fly those are all yeah they're all good songs but this is just like these ones in the middle are kind of ones that I don't have much to say about like they're not the best but they're not bad so they're kind of just like I put them there because it's just kind of where I thought they belonged innocent we are never getting back together it's so catchy but it's just like not her best work i feel like as an artist like artistry wise and musician wise but it is catchy stay 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 so good sad beautiful tragic the lucky one everything has changed good style this love clean yeah all of these like you can read it obviously i don't need to read them all out all of these like i feel bad but i don't really have anything to say they're just they're just solid songs like I just put them there for the purpose of I don't love them and I don't dislike them so they go in the middle all right tier four so this is where I want to say nobody get offended because honestly even the songs in tier five that I say I don't like I don't like hate hate almost any of them except for like two songs ever of Taylor Swift's that I actually like hate um and even then, I think that's a kind of a strong word. Like, I love Taylor Swift. And so if some of these songs are not your picks or if I've gotten things differently than you would, don't take any offense. It's okay. And also, I think it would be so, so, so fun if everybody comments down below and tells me, like, what's your, like, what are some songs that would be in your top, top tier of all of her songs? What are, um what did I put in my tiers like what stood out to you that you would have put somewhere completely different like was there something in my tier one that you would have totally put like in tier five or like what was the biggest discrepancy between what I put and what you would think and just like comment down below if you have I know I can't talk about every single one so comment down below if like I kind of skipped over one and you want to know why I put it somewhere so let's just have a discussion about Taylor Swift in the comments to celebrate her new album all right anyway so going on to tier four tell me why um, change, haunted, I knew you were trouble, last kiss, long live, okay, those are all, I just find them, like, a lot of those are nice songs, nice lyrics, I just feel like they are missing, like, that special factor, and that's obviously for me, like, somebody out there might love one of these songs because they really connected to the lyrics, and like I said earlier, maybe that was, like, their song that got them through, like, a time, a hard time or something, but for me personally, I felt like those ones were lacking, like, pizzazz, and those weren't the songs where I listened to it and was just like, oh, like, oh my gosh, like, that's so good, so that's why they're kind of lower, like, I still, I still think they're good songs, they're just, like, didn't they're just not as special i feel like and they just didn't they didn't wow me um and that's all of these so shake it off shake it off could debatably be in group five i just don't really like it i mean i i do think it's okay as an artist to just have a fun song like not every song you come out with has to have some deep meaning but because of taylor swift's history and the kind of song she comes out with it felt really like okay just kind of like okay <laughs> shake it off like any other like pop bop song that comes out like teeny bopper song that comes out on the radio um all you had to do is stay don't blame me king of hearts this is why we can't have nice things the man the archer blah blah you can read the rest um beautiful eyes i think it was like either a single or she had like a shorter album called beautiful eyes i don't remember that album like i remember the song but i don't remember like the album so i'm not sure about that but that's a good song and same with eyes open from hunger games both of those are good songs they just yeah they're just like there like I don't think of them I don't remember them I don't like accidentally start singing it and get stuck in my head they're just kind of eh. all right now we're at tier five so I have some things to say so bad blood was something to do with Katy Perry or something I don't know I think like there's a fine line between taking back like you know taking back your confidence like saying what you want to say and being blunt like people who know me know I value people who are blunt and confident but I don't know it just felt really phony to me like it just felt like she was trying to be relevant and make like this big thing out of something and it I was just like do you even really want to be talking about this anymore like don't you want this to just be like I don't know I don't know I thought it was just dumb how you get the girl look what um how you get the girls just my 
it does nothing for me. Look What You Made Me Do is, I think, pretty annoying. Actually, like, I just think that song's so annoying. I'm sorry. To anybody who likes it, that's okay. I just don't like it. Endgame, So It Goes, Gorgeous, Getaway Car, Dress, I Think He Knows, and Daylight are all songs. I will say something that I had, didn't say before is that Reputa Reputation and Lover, I feel like, are kind of at a disadvantage when it comes to me making the tears because, like, I don't know, I haven't spent as much time with them. Like, the other albums, the first four or five albums, like, like the first album I've been listening to since I was like 12 or something. So I've had so much more time with those. I also feel like those were a time in my life where I was so vulnerable. Like when you're in middle school, you just like, I, I still connect with music obviously, but at those times, like I would latch on to one of the Taylor Swift songs and just listen to it on repeat. All I did was listen to Taylor Swift at that time. Like all of her albums on repeat constantly all day, every day. And I didn't listen to any other music. Now when I listen to Taylor Swift, I also listen to other musicians. So I do feel like they don't really have like a fair chance, but I tried. Um, so all of those are just, they just don't do anything for me. And then the song Me, I am so disappointed. And part of my disappointment is not Taylor Swift's fault. It's Taylor Swift's fault, it's Brandon Yuri. Brandon Yuri. Because like, I, his as far as vocal, like vocals, I'm not just talking about like, oh, the song. If you have not seen Brendan Yuri sing, live just look up a bunch of his live performances he is so 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 good yeah brendan yuri is just like so so good and i can't believe that he like just sang that song like that so anticlimactic and the song's just annoying like i said earlier i don't think every song has to have this deep meaning and be like super mature and deep and or sad but it just felt so like childish i don't know i think a lot of people really liked it uh, i liked it when i first heard it it's definitely catchy but the more i hear it the more i'm just like what the hell is this so that's kind of my reasoning on that um so yeah that is my tears i was gonna say something else oh yeah so those are all my tears i know i kind of like went quickly but it's like impossible to talk about every song so like i said please please let's have a discussion in the comments i want to hear from you if you have any questions about songs i skipped over questions about why i put stuff in a certain tier and i really want to hear if there's anything in my tiers that you like really really disagree with and why because i'm curious and i'm not like super i love taylor swift but i'm not super attached to this like i'm not gonna get feisty so no reason for you to get feisty but we can talk about taylor swift um last thing i want to say because it's such a topic of discussion is like old taylor versus new taylor and i feel like from this you from looking at this like list you might be like oh she doesn't like she's one of those people who like only likes old taylor swift and for me her changing like when people said oh taylor swift changed i think that's so dumb like she literally went from being her first album she was like 15 and now she's like 27 or something like you did you change between 15 and 27 i freaking hope so so like obviously change is fine i have no issue with the fact that she changed the reason I don't like her newer albums as much, I like Lover, but the reason I didn't like 1989 and Reputation as much wasn't because she changed. I just genuinely didn't really like the new style. She could have still changed, but changed to some other style or done it differently, and I would have still liked her despite changing. I just didn't really connect and click with her new style, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with her changing. Like, I think, I don't know why she wouldn't change. It's such a weird thing that people say about, like, actors and musicians and youtubers is like you change and it's like well no shit you change you grew up it's been like 10 years 12 years so that's my bit on that but i hope you enjoyed this video of all the taylor swift songs obviously i left out a few but pretty much all the taylor swift songs ranked and please leave a comment down below like this video and please subscribe i have a lot more fun videos coming um you are gonna see me try the new Popeye's chicken sandwich as at the request of my friend from high school um I mean why not and then I'm also going to be I'm doing a bunch of health and fitness stuff so I'm going to be uploading what I eat in the day probably on Monday or Tuesday um I also next week have a week of workouts video I have a top tips for college students video coming out I have so much fun stuff coming out so please subscribe and yeah thank you so much for watching love you bye